and Flagstaff has always been a town to give rise to local artists. In today's entertainment segment, we talk to one of these up-and-coming artists about her impressive work in a unique gallery. I'm Sid Dotson, and I want to be an artist when I grow up. <laughs> I think it's a really important opportunity for kids to um, have an area where they can express themselves in a time where they're trying to build this foundation of who they want to be. It's so funny to talk about it because we're talking about a nine-year-old here, you know? But it's amazing because there's something there. As you can see, nine-year-old Sydney Dodson likes art. I think it's all really fun. Most works of art created by children are given the highest prestige of the kitchen refrigerator. But through the youth art exhibit at the Coconino Center for the Arts, Sydney has the opportunity to be in a real art gallery. Being in a gallery, it gives them the opportunity to see something through to the end and see that um, their hard work can lead to something really great. They'll just see it and then they'll say, whoa, that's a nine-year-old, that's so cool. Flagstaff is a town where artists are treated like celebrities, and turning that focus onto children and honoring their achievements does wonders for their self-esteem. It allows them to see that they're excelling at something, and um, especially in a realm that you don't get that quite a bit, it's really important that they get that affirmation as often as possible. Through her school art program and the Coconino Center for the Arts, Sydney got her pieces in a real gallery. But that's not the only award Sydney has earned for her art. Last year, when she was in second grade, she won second place from the Humane Society for her art, which was really amazing. And it actually is in the 2014 Humane Society calendar. So if anybody has those out there, I'm sure you've seen it. And I was really, really happy because I got a whole bunch of art supplies and stuff like that. But it's not just the physical things Sydney and her mom get out of art, but a great deal of love as well. This one is actually my favorite because two years ago it was my birthday gift. Knowing her mom liked Buddhas, Sydney cut out and glued together small strips of paper, making the perfect birthday gift. I just wrote happy birthday on it and I gave it to her. She loved it so much. She was so happy when I gave it to her. She said, I love Buddhas, and I was like, I know, duh. And that's when we began to just see how artistic and talented she was as far as that was concerned. And Art can broaden the mind, give kids creative outlets, and teach them lifelong lessons. I would say even if you mess up the first time that you can do it like way more time to see if it's better the next time or the next time after that. For NAZ Today, with videographer Stephanie Freiderking, I'm Mason Agnew. Well, the youth art exhibit will run until tomorrow, so if you would like to see more of Sydney's work or other community contributions, stop by the Coconino Center for the Arts.